Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look at Nice Guy. Nice Guy is an interesting framework that can help you build any UI to your Python applications. I've tried in the past tools like Streamlit or uh, Typey and in the end I have sticked with Nice Guy because it's offering you a lot of flexibility that uh, you can use to customize your Python applications in the way you like. And uh, in here, for instance, I have uh, their website. So you see that this is the nice guy website and uh, this will uh, show you exactly what you can do with the nice guy. And nice guy, it has a lot of useful components that you can use to build your uh, Python website or application. I'm using this framework basically to create some of the AI tools that uh, I want to develop. The tools are mostly for the internal use to help me do some uh, things with AI and test some, some things. This is a very fast UI interface for Python. It's uh, built with uh, Tailwind and uh, Quasar and you can run it in Docker. So I have here, for instance, a test website that uh, I am using. So basically this is a website that it's built with a uh, nice guy and uh, like this you have for instance some example so in here you have a title generator for my youtube uh, video so for instance if you type something in here like uh, nice guy tutorial this will uh, pop up the titles i'm still uh, working on designing this i'm still learning uh, nice guy and uh, experiment uh, with it but in this video i will show you exactly the beginner things that you should know if you want to use nice guy for your uh, python applications so you see in here that it this has a menu for instance you will see that you have uh, a menu in, in in the left like a sidebar and in here you have a header in here you have a footer i will show you exactly how you can uh, add all of these things to your uh, python application you will see how it easy it is to use nice guy and of course you can do more with this application but you need to, to to start learning it and so on and this it's very fast it's i'm surprised that uh, you can build this uh, fast application on on python and i've have this website live for a couple of weeks now and uh, it wasn't down at all nice guy it's it's pretty good and uh, it's offering you a lot of flexibility some of the things that you may want to know from the beginning about nice guy and for instance streamlit with nice guy you have more flexibility to do the website in the way you like because of this it can be harder for the beginners but for me this is perfect because it lets me create exactly the things i want uh, like in streamlit you cannot uh, do a lot of uh, things you have like the default layout that uh, it's there and uh, you don't have a lot of flexibility to play around with everything like you have in, in here so let's go and uh, check exactly how nice guy can help us i've already created an article in here with all of these details and with everything that you can use to to start with this framework and uh, yeah in here we'll see some of the components that uh, nice guy is offering and how it's looking and things like that so the first thing that uh, we will need to do is to create to install it and for this we need to run pip install nice guy and uh, I, I already did this so yeah in in the left side in here you see that i have a uh, project open i have uh, a file that basically doesn't have anything in in it so we'll add the things in here so you can understand how nice guy it's working again this is a tutorial for beginners and um, the ones that want to get started with nice guy and understand exactly in the beginning how it's working and extend after with the functionality that nice guy is offering so let's go and install it so i will run the i'm using python 3 that's why so yeah it's already installed that's why you you see this fast response in in here but it, it shouldn't take long for you to install and afterwards to get started with it you just need to import it so first we're gonna copy this and i will explain what this it's it's doing so you see in here for instance the first thing to import the ui so from nice guy you import the ui and in here you have a label that it's only saying hello nice guy and then you do the ui dot run and this would uh, create your first ui in python with nice guy let me save this 
So I have saved this right now to run this. We just do Python and three and the file that we've created main.pi. And right now you will see in here that uh, a window opened with the port 8080. So basically this is the port that uh, nice guy is using to run this application. And you see that you have the label in here and you have the hello nice guy in here that it's added with this label. So you see that uh, in the beginning, this is not uh, offering you all the structures that for instance, streams it's, it's offering you, but this is fine because we will see how we can add things in here and how this is working. So basically every time you will add things in here, the application it will update automatically. So you don't need to stop it and start it, which is pretty, pretty good. So let's go and see some of the details that uh, we have in here. So for instance, in here, I've added a markdown component and what I will do, I will just add it in here. So you see in here that with UI.markdown, you have the options to add markdowns in here. So this will be a H1 header, H2, H3. So you can put any markdown that you want in here. Also, it has an HTML options that you can use, but yeah, in here, I will just test this. So right now, if we save this, we will see in here that uh, we will have our headers added. So you see in here that this is the default way this is looking. Of course, this can be changed. And again, let's move and check the other components. So basically in the nice guy, you have the options to add elements under rows or columns. So you can structure the website in the way you, you like. So in here, for instance, let's go and take the UI row. And in here, we will see how this is looking. Again, this is just a tutorial for beginners that want to want to play around with the nice guy. So you see in here that you have the row added. So basically what this will do, it will add the elements in a row like this. So you can add in here different types, cards and things like that, or input button, text areas or other things. We're going to see how we can extend this with classes, with props and so on. So you can customize this a little. Of course, you will need to check their documentation for everything because you have a lot of things that you can do with nice guy. Then you have the column option. So for this, we are just copying this. So you see that this has similar options. So to use these elements, the column and the row, you have the width and then you have the UI dot column and in here you have the row and then you have the elements. For instance, this is just a label that it's added. So you can see exactly how this is working. So right now I save this and if you go in here, you'll see that right now this is displaying columns. You will not have it in rows like it was before. Okay. Then uh, we have some options to customize this with Tailwind CSS. So in here you see that I have also a column that has some elements in here and it uses the dot classes that you can uh, you can add and add different Tailwind CSS classes in here. So for instance, let's go and copy this. In here you will see that uh, these classes, it will change the text that this is displayed. So for instance, in here, this label with the first column, it will have, have a font bold. And this one, it will have a text that it is uh, to Excel in size. And this one, it will have a text that it is um, to Excel in size and it's red. So if we go and save this and we're going to check this, you'll see in here that this is the first one and this first one, it has only the bold option. This one, it has the bold with the, um, the bigger size and this one, it has the red option with the bigger size. So you can add any Tailwind class that you want in here. You can also replace the default one. So you have a lot of flexibility, which is great to, to play around. This is especially good for the ones that needs this flexibility for their application and the fact that it's pretty fast because it's built on uh, Quasar with Tailwind. It offers a very good experience for visitors. That's why I think this is like uh, the best framework that you can use in case you want to build something fast and uh, you want to customize it as, as you like. Okay, let's go and see other things. So in here you'll see that we'll have uh, input with a button 
uh, this will not do anything but you can add your functions in here if you want to have this button play and do something we're gonna see some of these details in the future video so in here you see i have added a uh, row and in here i have an input with uh, a label i here have a props so basically in here you can use props to customize uh, your components and in here it will be square outline dance and you have a button with click me so if we're going to see what is added you see in here that you have an input and with a click, click me button you can change the text and everything and you can ask a nice guy to run a function or a, a code that that you have again we're gonna see this in uh, in the future this is just to demonstrate you some of the ui options that uh, nice guy it's allowing you to to have okay and uh, to understand the basics of this because basically even if you know python you will need to know nice guy and uh, it will be good to understand some of the things that nice guy is doing and how it can uh, help you again let's go and see the the other things you have the options to add images so for instance in here i've just added an image for my from my website you can add a local image or you can add the image from outside it's it's up to you and in here let's go and see so you have the image added from the website that i have and in here you have the classes so the class in this option it will uh, resize it it will round the corners it will put it to center and so on you can use all the tailwind classes for this let's see so you see in here that the image was added and yeah it's looking nice it has the rounded corners and uh, so on so you can uh, customize the components with uh, tailwind css classes or you can also use uh, styles directly you are not limited only to tailwind css i am showing you this tailwind css option because i mean it's more easy to build code with tailwind css and uh, that's the main reason the, the other thing that you can do with this you can add a header and the draw toggle basically the draw toggle it's this uh, area from from here <coughs> If you are using Stringlet, you, you will be used to, to this sidebar. So you'll see that it's very easy to add these elements and make it look similar, for instance, with Streamlit, if that is something that, uh, that you like. And in here, you will benefit from the speed that this has. So let's add the header with the drawer. So let me add this in here. And in here you will see that you have some classes that will tell it where to be. You have a label in the in the header. You have a button that basically this is the hamburger menu. You have the colors that uh, that you are using with props. This code is uh, taken from the nice guy website. So let's go and see if something happens. So you see in here that a header has been added. You have the header in here label and in here you have the the drawer but right now it doesn't do anything because you don't have the drawer added so to do that we're gonna move to the next code and this is basically adding the right drawer so basically it's a right sidebar and let's go and add also this code okay so yeah right now i've saved this file and let's go and see so right now, if we're going to click this, you see that you have the right drawer in here. And in here, you can add all the components uh, you want. For instance, in here, you'll see that in the left side, I've added a menu with pages. So you can create pages very easily with uh, nice guy. We'll see this in a future video. And the other option is to, for instance, add, uh, add a footer. And in the footer, you can add the column elements and you can add the links or the details you want in there without any problems i will just show you the blank option in here so you can see how it's looking so right now you see that you have the footer in here you can increase the size if you want you can add your columns in here so basically right now you see that this started to look more and more with a website which is a good thing and you see that it's pretty fast it's just uh, very responsive
Another thing that you can uh, do with, uh, with it, you can add uh, HTML code in the header very easily. So for instance, if you have analytics or tags or other JavaScript that you want to add, you just add the HTML add in here and uh, in here you add your script and this will add the script into the, the header. So yeah, things are very easy to, to be done with, uh, with nice guy and it's a very good options to stream it and uh, yeah it's a very nice framework that you can try and uh, use and see how it's working and uh, see if it's uh, the right option for uh, for your python application in the nice guy website you have here the documentation and uh, in here you will have all the components and the, the documentation it's quite good if you will go in here you will have the details for every component so you have some interactive things that you can you can uh, do and choose in here so you have also the code you have a lot of examples for instance that you can also take a look of so in here you see that you have authentication you have uh, AI interfaces that are already built and you can uh, check them and see how these are implemented so you can better understand nice guy and how you can use it for your project in the documentation area in here you see that you have the text elements for instance and in here you will have some examples with some details you will have the the options for instance you can see in here that you have all the options and so on you can also use the discord or the reddit to ask questions for instance yesterday i asked a question and someone responded me quite fast in a couple of hours and explained me what i needed to do for for something and yeah it nice guy it's pretty good and it's very very easy to use also, this website is built with nice guys. So you see in here that uh, they're using their own product to to host their website, which is a good thing because I will not trust uh, a framework that is doesn't use to build their website. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will let a link into the description with the article that I've written and the details. And um, in the future, I will create some some videos that will help you use nice guy and uh, add some interactive elements to your Python application so maybe you understand how nice guy is working. Thanks for, for watching.